there's the stupid portal. Okay, all the way back here. Now go away. Now then, you will open the door. Are you kidding me? Come here. That's it. You're gonna die. Are you... Yeah, you still have your friend. You're next. Oh, now you open the door. I just did. Oop. Here we go. I don't think so. Are you kidding me? Uh. I'm almost at the end. Almost there. I'll take that. Here we go. Oh look, he's so tiny now. <coughs> Excuse me. You have 
have failed me, Raziel. I wonder, old one. Did you truly resurrect me, or were you simply there when I awakened from my torment in the Abyss? I suspect you found me merely convenient, dropped in your lair by Cain, indestructible for some reason, a durable and gullible tool for you to manipulate. This one thing I readily admit, I have been used by others time and again, but always I seem to stray from their path. What is it about me, demon? that makes me such an unreliable instrument. Why do I survive one trial after another, on and on, in an endless succession of humiliating deaths and resurrections? It seems there is much more to my destiny and my history than I know. Perhaps more than you know as well. All right. Almost there. Again, you guys fight it out. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Later. Shoot. What the? Just keep moving. Okay, I'm at the pillars, so I'm almost halfway there. Okay, lost to my death, but if I could just make it to the stronghold. Really? Uh, forget it, let's just move on.
Well, at least there are no more demons to worry about. I just have to worry about the Seraphan. Do it here. Okay, I see it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Goodbye. Okay, where's the... Is that the fire font? Yeah, it is. Okay. There we go. Now I'll just get the light weaver and there we go. Free your soul. Go away. Free your soul. Stop it. Yeah, not in the mood to fight you guys. There we go. And boom. Boop. Here we go. Just keep running. There we go. And the doors are locking behind me. Suddenly and inexplicably, I discovered the Reaver suspiciously laid across my path. Again, I sensed nothing of that temporal distortion, the peculiar sense of displacement I had felt when I encountered the Reaver in William's Chapel. Cornered here with the blade, I suffered the same nameless dread that I had experienced when Janos first presented the Reaver to me. I felt at once repelled by the blade, and 
yet overwhelmingly compelled to seize it. So, Razier, here we are finally. You have no choice but to confront me now. And I am not so foolish as I've let you believe. We have business to conclude. You knew I would leave the Seraphan to Janos, you vile bastard. You've been orchestrating my every move. <laughs> my destiny is an amusement to you. It was fun while it lasted. I think not, Graziana. Malik, do not let this creature leave. He poses a danger to the circle. Poor deluded Raziel. Did you somehow imagine you had the guile to change history on me? I'm the time streamer. I knew your every intention before you did, you imbecile. Lord Mobius, there is trouble within. The circle is under oh, attack. fast, Malik. This one is the real what are you trying to concoct here, Mobius? You toxic creature. Did you imagine I'd simply allow you to run loose? Corrupting everything you encounter. I admit that I've underestimated you to this point, Mobius. But it's a mistake I won't repeat. Wrong again, Razier. Now, Malik. Bolt the door. Using his staff to disable my wraith blade, Mobius effectively disarmed me, leaving me with only one choice of weapon. And yet I confess, it was not the lack of options, but blind rage that made me take up the Reaver. In my fury, it felt as though my hand had acted of its own will. And now, that same hand clutched the hilt with unyielding strength, and I felt a constrained tingling. A remote but palpable sense of longing as the disabled wraith blade tried vainly to embrace its physical twin. Alright, and notice how my health's been restored. Yeah, there's a little thing about this part of the game, but... The Reaver exerted some mysterious power over me. It sustained my energy, enabling me to prolong my physical manifestation indefinitely. In fact, Bonded to the blade as I was, I could no longer shift into the spirit realm at will. Nor was I able to summon the Reaver's twin, for my wraith blade had been disabled in the confrontation with Mobius. All right. Cain's vampire sons, Melchiah and Zephon, the weakest of Cain's brood. These bastards had no idea what future lay in store for them, how they would become the very thing they so despised. The Reaver hummed with ravenous anticipation. Janos had called it a vampiric blade, endowed with the power to drain its victims of their lifeblood. Eager to see what the Reaver would do to these two. And here we go. Yeah, notice how my health is not dropping. Yeah, essentially the blade put me in a god mode. Or infinite health. So essentially you cannot lose at this part of the game. There's a lot of speculation why this happened, but... At this point, might as well just finish the game.
And technically this is a strategy used to fight these guys, since they'll just keep blocking. Goodbye. Just die already. Come on. Goodbye. As Melkaia and Zephon fell before my blade, I felt the Reaver's bloodthirst as keenly as I ever had when I was still a vampire. I could sense the boundary between us dissolving. The Reaver was consumed with my rage, and I by its bloodlust. The blade had a vitalizing effect on me. My physical energy no longer decayed over time, and the wounds inflicted by my foes healed almost instantly. The Reaver had made me invincible. Here we go. On to the next boss fight. Come to reclaim the monster's black heart. You'll have to get to us first. My former brethren, Duma and Rahab, confronted me next. This all seemed so elegantly choreographed. Exhilarated by the Reaver, I was drunk with revelations. I could finally appreciate the delicious irony of Cain's blasphemous private joke. And I reveled as I colluded with him across the centuries. For it was I who put these bastards in their tomb, thus providing the corpses for Cain to raise as his vampire sons a millennium from now. Here we go. Run around and stab. Stab, stab, stab. Come on. And goodbye. Goodbye. without questioning Cain's command. So dutiful and righteous, even as a vampire. I guess some habits die hard. The vampire Tyrell had eluded my vengeance. The Sarathan Tyrell would not. 
Here we go. Come on. Goodbye. Although there's one thing I never quite understood. Why do they have the elemental funds here? Well, I mean, I can understand the light reaver because you have to activate, you know, the light crystal to get to the time machine, essentially, or the time streaming device. But for the dark font, never quite understood why. Here we go. Past versus future. We're running around stabbing. Apparently this fight happened the way it did because of a Russian game at the timeline. Because this game was about to release soon and they were almost out of time, so they did this way. Which I would suspect it would have been a lot more to it if they had a little bit more time to finish it, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Because I wouldn't be surprised if some people on the comments said, like, You used a cheating device for this fight. It's like, nope. It's all part of the game's story. You quit blocking. Blocking. You're gonna die anyway. There we go. Multi hit combo.
There we go. Oh, f I got him. Come on. There we go. Game over. I renounce you. And so it ends. My history comes full circle. Sensing its twin, the wraith blade uncoiled itself from me, and instead wound lovingly round its former self. I felt its grip loosen, and as the blade left me, its absence chilled me more than its presence ever had. A foreboding sense of emptiness and loss stole over me, and a terrible revelation gathered like a storm at the edge of my awareness. With all other foes exhausted, the conjoined blades turned themselves on me, and I realized, finally, why I had sensed nothing when Janos offered me the blade. The Reaver was never forged to be a soul-stealing weapon. The ravenous, soul-devouring entity trapped in the blade was, and always had been, me. This is why the blade was destroyed when Cain tried to strike me down. The Reaver could not devour its own soul. The paradox shattered the blade. So, this was my terrible destiny. To play out this purgatorial cycle for all eternity. I could not bear it. Despair overwhelmed me. You. Claim your true destiny, Raziel. Behind Cain's eyes, I could see new memories blooming and dying as history labored to reshuffle itself around this monumental obstruction. And I could see by the dawning horror on his face that perhaps we had strained history too far this time. That by trying to alter my fate, he may have introduced a fatal paradox. My god, the Hilden! We walked right into their trap. Raziel, Janos must stay dead. But Cain's warning was lost as I slipped into the spirit realm, too weak to maintain my physical form. And there, waiting for me as always, was the Reaver, the Wraith Blade. My own soul, twinned and bound eternally to me. And I realized that I could never escape my terrible destiny. I had merely postponed it. History abhors a paradox. And there you have it. That is Soul Reaver 2. And like I said before, I will eventually 
play the other t the other games that before this, so that way everyone gets the idea of it. But anyway, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have, and it was it's still a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah, I complain about some parts of it, you know, near the end, but that's only because I wanted to try to finish it, and. Like I said, some things that could have been done better, but... Mm, excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, excuse me. Something in my throat. But, other than that, still a pretty fun game. And if you find yourself lucky to get a copy, go ahead and try it for yourself. So, in any case, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've been enjoying as much as I have. And as always, leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update. Share the same Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias. And don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.